Strickland couldn't stomach Saudi Arabia trip, UFC targeting Chimaev for KSA bout. It seems the UFC's plan for a banger in Saudi Arabia with Kamzat Chimaev hit a snag. Sources are saying Sean Strickland couldn't travel for the fight, leaving the promotion scrambling to find a new opponent. Robert Whitaker, who stepped up to face the surging boars in the land of dates and diamonds. Was it always Paulo Costa the opponent? Um, I know they're they're hoping for maybe Hamzat, mm -hmm. um, but I, I don't think Sean can travel to Saudi Arabia or something. I, okay. I, I'm not 100% sure, but I know Hamzat name was was possibly kicked around. But you know Hamzat's going to be a big draw in, in Saudi in that fight. You know, is more about location than it was about opponent. I Did this tweet cause all these issues with Strickland? Who knows? Gary Elyar wants Bilal Muhammad next get me back to a title shot. Colby Covington is never one to mince words, and this time he's setting his sights on Ian Gary. Covington claims Gary is lying about a potential fight offer and is just chasing clout. But that's not all. Chaos is setting his sights on Bilal Muhammad as his next opponent, believing a win will propel him right back into title contention. Ian Gary, I know you've probably seen this shit. He's claiming allegedly that he's accepted the fight with you. We all know that he's a cuck, but now we know he's a liar. Because UFC, Hunter, Dana, they haven't talked to me about this fight. This fight has not been presented, you know? It's, he's just lying. He's just trying to get clickbait and get people to talk about him. Like, I don't know who I'm fighting. I gave him stipulations. If they don't give you a Leon rematch right away, who would be the next guy that you would want to fight? I love this company with all my heart. They changed my life, you know, made me a multimillionaire. So I'm so thankful and grateful for what they've done. So I'm to let them decide but you know i don't know maybe this kid bailey bailey muhammad who's been talking a lot you know he's he's up there in the rankings above me so i think Bam. if i beat that guy you know it gets me right back to a title fight so you know i don't know anybody i could fight joe schmo off the street and i'm gonna get the same paycheck and it's gonna be a high level fight and i and i you know I'll, every every time i get on the mic you know i'm gonna sell that shit to the moon because i love this company so i don't know i don't have like names in particular but anyone anytime anywhere i fought the best fighters this this sport's ever produced dana white caught a delivery driver lacking what do you think about this guy FedEx. We'll get your shit there, but we'll fuck it up. <laughs> My boy don't give a fuck. Sandhagen eyes Nurmagomedov's cardio as key to victory. Sandhagen versus Nurmagomedov is heating up. The Sandman believes he has a golden opportunity to exploit Umar Nurmagomedov's suspect cardio. Sandhagen noticed Umar getting heavy-handed in his last fight and plans to capitalize on that weakness over five rounds. Will Sandhagen expose an opening in the Nurmagomedov armor, or will Umar prove his gas tank is championship caliber? Standpoint, I, I do really want to fight Umar in a five-round fight also just because uh, I don't mm. know, watched his last one, but he was like... <sighs> He was gassing. Oh, I mean, you know, I, he was working hard, though, so I'll give him that. You know, like, it, it was well within, like, the realm of reality for him to uh, be that tired because he was working real hard. Like, he wasn't relaxing too much. So, uh, but that fool was really huffing and puffing after during that interview. So, I... I uh, I think uh, there's a vulnerability there that I can capitalize on. Sandhagen also feels like he has the answer to the Nurmagomedov enigma. Corey Sandigan isn't afraid of a challenge, especially one with the name Nurmagomedov attached to it. He said, I get a real kick on figuring out how to beat these really good athletes. Like the Nurmagomedov family has zero losses. I was really excited for the challenge to actually go out and figure out that problem because Umar does have a super unique style to him too. And I felt like I had the answer to the problem. Is McGregor jealous of O'Malley's success? Sugar weighs in. Sean O'Malley is on fire, and it seems his success might be attracting some unwanted attention. O'Malley believes Conor McGregor might be feeling a tinge of jealousy as he continues his meteoric rise. O'Malley points to McGregor's comments about him and their past disagreement over a management company deal. To be honest, I kind of want to hate him. I want to be like, F you, and I've tried <laughs> to, I've said it. I, I even messaged him on Twitter, I said, F you, just to make me feel a little better. But, you know, I, it's, you know, cocaine's a hell of a drug. He was probably 
you know, shadow box in the bathroom at a club. And I get, I get it, you know, you say shit. So, you know, I do think there was a lot of jealousy. You don't, it's the people like that, that big of an ego, he sees what's happening. He sees like, you know, he's starting to, you know, yeah. he's starting to get pushed out. I'm starting to come up. It's like, yeah, there's no other reason for him to talk about me. I've always, I've never said anything but praised him. You know, I looked up to him. So I want to try to hate him, but you know, it's hard. Connor's, he's a man. He really is. But I, I don't know. I really don't feel any way about it. When I first read it, saw it, I was like, what the f like, that's great. Like, but then I'm like, God. I know he's probably he's geeked out, yeah. Uh, you know, jealous. You know, so he wanted me to sign with their management company. I didn't want to. He, so he's, you know, he sees me blowing up. He, so yeah. I don't know. He, 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 like you say, deleted it real quick after. I'm sure either his team did or he's like, God, why did I do that? But I don't know. O'Malley also claims he paid more in taxes than he earned fighting in 2023. My end goal is always to become multi, 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 multi millionaire. I wanted to become, you know, make a lot of money. And you can make a lot of money in the UFC, not talking, not really, you know, being on social media and doing that thing. But you're not, I mean, it's going to be harder. You're going to have to win 500,000 fights in a row. You know, you're going to have to, my last, I mean, I paid more in taxes than I made last year in my fight. And I made a lot of money fighting, but I made triple that on from social media from yeah. you know instagram snapchat twit like all these different social medias i made triple uh, the amount of money i made fighting i made a lot of money fighting so it's like it just depends what your guys what, what these guys goals are covington intrigued by five round fight with chimaev he's gonna get exposed soon colby covington is known for his brash talk but this time he's expressing genuine interest in a potential fight covington is super intrigued by a five round clash with kamzat chimaev however chaos doesn't shy away from throwing some shade questioning chimaev's cardio and predicting his inevitable downfall. He said, In a five-round fight, I would be super intrigued by that Kamzat fight. I always told them I want this guy in a main event. I don't think he can last. His cardio doesn't look that good. His last fight he fought Kamaru Usman at 185 on one week's notice, and I thought Usman won the fight. I think Kamzat's gonna get exposed soon. He doesn't have good cardio, and he's not as good as everybody thinks he is. Pereira punches back at floods with generous donation. Look who's showing their champion spirit outside the octagon. In the wake of devastating floods in southern Brazil, Alex Pereira has stepped up in a big way. Potent isn't just a knockout artist. He's got a heart of gold, too. Pereira has already donated $100,000 worth of food to those in need and has pledged an additional $20,000 to support flood relief efforts. Major props to Pereira for lending a helping hand during this difficult time. This is the kind of story that warms even the coldest MMA heart. He stated, Many people from the South are in need there because of the rain and floods. Recently, I made a donation out of my own pocket. No one helped me with anything. Apart from the other donations I made, I donated $100,000 of food to people in need here in Brazil. Now I'm also going to donate another $20,000 to the South for this tragedy that happened. I do what I can. Blakowicz wants Pereira rematch. I won that fight. Former champ Jan Blakowicz isn't done yet. He's targeting a return later this year and has one name on his mind. Alex Pereira. Blakowicz still believes he won their first fight and is demanding a rematch. Here's the thing, Pereira has a knack for knocking everyone out, except Blakowicz. Will the UFC grant Blakowicz his wish, or will Pereira silence him with another highlight reel KO? This light heavyweight drama is heating up. He was better. He's a better fighter than, than Jamal. But he is not a better fighter than me. <laughs> and I believe that I deserve for the rematch. I prove when he fight when he fight against me, you know. I still believe that uh, I won this fight. Referee see different uh, scores. So but I believe that uh, I won this fight against him and I believe that I deserve for the rematch. You know, he knock out knock out everybody, not me. So I believe that I am when I come back, I believe that I can fight against him one more time uh, so i think my next fight will be in the end of the year not earlier for sure not earlier do you think it probably november december would be like a good ideal i would like to big news huge ufc event planned for riyadh in late 2024 early 2025. Big things are brewing in Saudi Arabia. According to reliable sources, a major UFC event is on the horizon for Riyadh, likely happening in late 2024 or early 2025. We're talking something even bigger than the upcoming Fight Night card with Whitaker versus Shemaev. The details are still under wraps, 
but you better believe I'll be digging deep to find out what epic matchups this stacked card will hold. Pavlovich unleashes training fury ahead of Volkov clash. Light heavyweight contender Sergei Pavlovich is putting on a show. With his fight against Alexander Volkov at UFC Saudi Arabia just around the corner, Pavlovich has dropped some intense training footage online. Let me tell you, this dude is looking sharp fast and absolutely ferocious. Volkov better be ready for a war because Pavlovich is coming in hungry for the win. Don't miss this clash of titans on June 22nd. Thanks for watching. Smash the like button. Don't forget to subscribe.